Hello, got another science lesson here today on the center of our solar system, the sun, and the reason that all of the planets stay in orbit around the sun. So we're gonna be reading from um, our Delta Science Reader on our solar system and beyond and talking about gravity and the sun. Now, the force that pulls all objects to one another and is also the reason that the planets are perfectly in orbit at all times is gravity. Now gravity between the sun and the planets is the force of attraction between them that keep them in orbit. It's stronger between objects that have more mass. Mass is the amount of actual material in an object. The sun, as you might imagine, has a huge mass compared to the planets that surround it. Um, now, this gravity also is stronger between objects that are closer together. So, these are the planets in order, starting with Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So, you can tell that even though Jupiter is the largest of the planets, there might be a stronger gravity between planets that are closer together like Mercury and Venus. Okay, so gravity has to do with two things. What are they? How much mass is in the object plus how close an object is to another. Okay, so Jupiter and Saturn are the largest ones. As you can see here, we've got smaller Uranus and Neptune at the end. And these are as much as possible trying to uh, actually show the distance between the planets um, in comparison to one another. So gravity acts everywhere. For example, gravity holds objects on Earth's surface. That's why we stay on Earth. It's the gravitational pull of our bodies to the Earth's surface. Um, gravity acts between, so if you drop a pencil, for example, or I've got a stapler here, okay, gravity is what makes it drop to the surface. Um, gravity acts between Earth and the stapler here. It's pulled to the Earth. Weight is a measurement of the force of gravity on an object. The pull of gravity at the sur surface of each planet is a little bit different. That is because each planet has a different mass and each planet also has a different diameter. So Jupiter, for example, is a wider diameter than any other planet in the solar system. Discounting the rings of Saturn are not included in that. So, um, so every planet has a different mass and a different diameter. That is why our weight actually would be different on every other planet. So weight depends on what the gravitational pull is of the planet that you're on, whereas mass stays the same. So if you were to be on Mars, for example, you would weigh something different, even though your mass is exactly the same. And if you're floating between stars, um, then you actually would have a weight of zero because there's not a gravitational pull uh, to a specific planet. So you'd be weightless, even though your mass is identical. So um, we've got a chart here and I've got a cool website for you to look at today to find your weight on different planets and moons as well. So, um, and it's in pounds, uh, this little chart. I know some of you might not know your weight in pounds, maybe you know it in kilograms. And so if you, uh, um, aren't sure of it, you might have to look that up or ask your parents for help with what your weight is in pounds. Um, so imagine you weigh 60 pounds on Earth, okay? Uh, in On uh, Mercury, that would translate to 23 pounds. On Venus, really similar. It's considered our sister planet. So some of that has to do with the size and mass um, of Venus you're 54 pounds, so really similar. On our moon, you would weigh 10 pounds. That's why you know, if you've seen videos or photographs of people 
who went to the moon, they basically are floating. They barely have to, you know, move forward at all. And they just leap without any effort. On Mars, you'd be 23 pounds. If you were a um, more of an adult size, 100 pounds or so, small for an adult, but uh, you'd be 38 pounds on Mercury. So it's not just exactly double. There's a formula for this. And so the website will be helpful to solve that. It actually gives the formula, um, but it's much more advanced math um, since it has to do with all of those things. Your mass, it has to do with the planet's mass. It has to do with how large the planet is. Um, on moon, on Earth's moon, you would be 17 pounds if you were 100 pounds. And on Mars, 38 pounds. Okay, so that's the gravitational pull. Weight and mass are different. Weight changes depending on what planet you're on and based off of gravitational pull. Mass stays the same though. Okay, now let's get to you. the center of our solar system, the sun. Now, uh, the sun is the largest object in our solar system. Now, this is not the largest star in space um, in the universe or our ga galaxy even. Um, however, it is the largest part of our solar system. The sun is the closest star to Earth. Okay, so we see stars in the night sky. Those are much further away than our star. They are not part of our solar system. Uh, the sun looks much larger to us than other stars do, but that's only because it's so much closer to us. The sun is made mostly of the gases hydrogen and helium. Those gases, hydrogen and helium. It's what the sun is comprised of. This is more accurate to what the sun looks like. Just a big ball of glowing gases. Okay, um, it is about 1,390,000 kilometers or about 864,000 miles wide is how large the sun is. If the sun were just an empty ball, which this is, but I'm not gonna, didn't mean to take that off. Um, if the sun were just an empty ball, about a million earths would fit inside it. One million little earths would fit inside this. Um, so it gives off a huge amount of energy. We talked about that with ecosystems, that we get a lot of our energy from the sun, almost all of it. Now, energy from the sun moves out through space. The sun is the main source of energy on Earth. Um, most living things depend on light and heat from the sun. Plants need sunlight to make their own food. Energy in that food passes to animals that eat plants, which we've learned about just recently. The sun's energy also helps Earth stay at temperatures that support life. Okay? So we are able to support life in large part because of our sun. We are the perfect distance away from the sun, just perfect for us to have a um, good life on Earth. So why does it look so much larger to us than other stars? It's closer, that's right. Okay, that is all for today. Uh, you have that website where you are going to be able to find your weight on other planets. And I'd love to hear what you guys find out. Um, you can write it down in your science notebook if you want to, but these are not like normal science notes. And hopefully we'll get a chance to hear from a few of you in class tomorrow. Um, so, or for my 1130 class, maybe once you're done watching this video um, on Wednesday. So that is all for your science. I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.